fucking was on the Galloway Hills, right? Standing looking at the Merrick. Seen a couple of guys in quad bikes. I was like, no way, man. <laughs> That's what the runs in is a BMW and Audi. Hello! Today I'm going to be doing the range of the awful hand. First hill, Sherlock on Minnoch. Nice bit of bog. There's a wee burn over here to cross. I'm with a couple of boys from Galloway Mountain Rescue Team. And so far it's been a great walk. The weather's fantastic. First clear spell in quite a while to be honest. So I've got the shorts on. The mid layer's about to come off. We're heading up onto this crag. Head along the ridge to the summit of Shalak and Minnach. From there, we'll be heading over onto Tarfesic. Good boy. Oh. The boys have been looking for the remnants of a plane crash, and we have found it here. You can see all the old tin, bits of the fuselage. It's quite, uh, quite strange to see this, to be honest. Mark, otherwise known as Hannibal, is going to tell us yes. all about this plane. Oh, go for it. It was an Oxford plane. It crashed. Mark 1. Three people died. So what, what's that? A bit of fuselage. It doesn't be sure, but... The engines are up here, they're buried. This is the impact site up here. You still see all the rivets? Yes, you actually see numbers on it as well. Do you? The, the exhaust back there, there's numbers on it. There it is. Hoofed. That's a good bit of suspension there. Yeah. Still very. Carburetor? That's a cylinder. Well, it's this, uh, this wee pool's full of... This is where it was smashed, this is where the impact site I would say. <sighs> Bits and bobs. Uh, yeah. Possible water pump. Where's the numbers? I've seen them. And up there. See it's stamped as well. Oh aye. You can still see a bit of the paint as well. Ah, oh, the paint, that is bad. That works amazing. Fantastic views. And you can now see the range of the awful hand. So Tarfesic, Kiriok Hill, and looming behind that is the Merrick. So two and a half hours up to the summit. <laughs> Boom, Coops, up. <laughs> Good boy. Shalak and Minnach too. We're heading down from the summit now along the, the wee plateau to the true summit of Shalak on Minnach where you watched me and Hubert camping if you haven't seen that I would recommend it uh, Sub-Zero camping Couldn't be uh, any more different today, it's dry, it's totally clear and it's roasting really pleasant for walking Most of the boys are racing ahead but I'm just taking my own pace here, I'm not in any rush to be honest I'm a photographer, not a hill walker. <laughs> or so I keep telling myself. Come across Anson another crash. plane crash. What is it? Anson, an Abro Anson. Many killed? I'm not sure, I think it was four. Uh, 1940s as well. This one's a wee bit worse for wear, it's melted. Another wee patch over here. Same script, scorched earth. 
exposed stone and lots of melted fuselage. It's crazy that this one's melted, it must have gone up in a ball of flames or something. The other one uh, was quite intact. What do you think, Coops? You just want your rock, don't you? Well, true summit's just over here. It's amazing the things that you see in the hill. I said this before, but um, last time we were up here, it's just deep snow, so you could, really couldn't see in. And then lots of folks had asked me if I'd seen the plane crash sites. Had no idea they were there until I looked it up. Um, but we just happened across these two. I think Mark, Hannibal, uh, knew where the first one was. Bye. So here we are, the true summit. Coops! Here he comes. And bye. Whoosh. There you go. Goodbye. You can see the trigs over there. It looks higher, but it's not. This is a few meters higher. But, uh, I'll give you a wee view in just a second. I just need to make my way over to the edge of this plateau. I know you'll have seen it from a Shalik and Minnick video, but it's absolutely fantastic. There's actually a man down there reading on the rocks. That's Tarfesuk, Kiriok Hill, and you can see that big, deep drop. So I, I reckon there might be a wee bit of scrambling over there. The Merrick, the Dungeon Hills. That's uh, Mowaka right in the middle there. Hoodens Hill, um, Craig Naw, and Dungeon Hill. Locky Nook in the centre, Mini Gaff Hill's behind it, and the Rins of Kells down there. Down here we have the Tunskeen Bothy, Loch Recor. I uh, absolutely fantastic views. So just gonna head down onto Tarfesuk now. So I don't uh, foresee any issues with that at all. And then we'll see about getting up Kerryhawk Hill. Coops up to his chest now, bloody fog. Is that good? Are you cooling down? You are daft. Hi Ollie. Are you getting on, sir? Uh, I'm getting a boost. You keeping up? Hey, right, one. See, see that quad bite? So, right, let's go up there and we've got to stop for a cup of tea. Did you want that little bit of white quartz here in that belt, man? No. No, it's fucking shit. Have you ever been getting the new reason? Yeah, well, I have. Come on, sir. Come on. These sheep pens down there. Where? Down in the. near the Catrick. And there's a date on them 1853, I think it is. Sheep pens? Yes. Yeah. I'm in Almost at the top of Tarfesuk now, and Hannibal has called me over to see a cairn made entirely from quartz. Uh, well, I find it amazing, you might not find it amazing, but that is. It's a normal, in the whole, and believe it or not, there's one in the Merrick as well. That's uh, Shalakon Minach. We've just come down that, and then the summit's just up here. <laughs> <laughs> Summit of Tarfesuk, second hill of the day. Boom! How far have we come? Six miles, I'll say six miles. I'm just making my way off of Tarfesuk now. Had a nice roll, shared that with Coops. A big long drink and a banana, so feeling pretty good. I'm running low in juice, so. At the foot of Kiriok Hill, there is a wee lock in, and there seems to be plenty of movement in it. So, I will probably collect some water there before making this steep pull up the, the green holes. We're coming down to another cairn that Hannibal has found. We came up 
aquarium day I run and there was bullet casings and uh, a wee stove for the army was up here using it Isn't that shocking? I think that's a this rock. <laughs> what is it, Bert? The lion of Tarfesuk. The lion of Tarfesuk. It's just an expanse of land, nothing else. Just raw, magnificent Scottish wilderness. Just collected a lot of water from this lovely Loch Ann, and it's not peaty at all. It's uh, really fresh tasting. I've got a filter, but I don't really think I'll need it to be honest. So, pressing on, Kiri Rioch is up here. There's a wee sort of foothill in front of it, so you don't get the scale, but I'll show you when we get up there. Bert assures me that it's not bad. Well, one foot after the other. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll show you the bottom. This is supposed to be the steepest ascent. In the entire Galloway range. So uh, I'm excited, I'm a bit. But uh, we're going to be doing it anyway, so there's no point in being fear. It's about 200 metres of ascent. Uh, we reckon it'll take about 20 minutes to half an hour to get up. Once we're on there, I will be taking a break. Let's get stuck into this. I might not film anything. If I do, it's a bonus, but I will be struggling. We made it. Wasn't actually that bad, but my knees starting to give me jip again. So I'm gonna have to make a decision whether or not I go up the Merrick, which looks fantastic, or drop down Kerry Rioch, and it's still a long walk back to the car. But um, we'll see. Ooh. Good boy. You're done. Oh. It's like a, it's like a bowling green up here, snooker table, very easily pitch a tent. Aye, right, gonna stop for a rest, some to eat and a drink, and we'll see if I'm gonna do this. I've decided to hold back while the boys go up the Merrick. I don't want to risk my leg going and me not being able to walk down because Based on my last experience of going up the Merrick and then down via the Black Gary, it's very twisty in the legs, at least with Kiriok Hill. The route down is basically hand railing a dry stained dike all the way down, tiny wee boggy section, then back onto the forest path. And that's about five kilometers back to the car uh, once you reach the, the woodland. So that's uh, the viable option for me. I just wanted to make the point that you should never fear holding back if you think you can't do something if you're with people that will slag you off and make you feel bad about doing so you're with the wrong people these guys are really lovely characters they totally understand um like my reasons for holding back and they've offered to come back down i don't know if they are going to um and walk off with me i could do this myself no bother as i said you just hand reel down i've got my map it's great to have that support network you should never feel like you can't make a decision for yourself uh, and as i said if you're in that kind of position you might want to look for different people to walk with because that can be quite toxic and potentially dangerous so anyway the views are amazing the sun is out it's burning a hole in the sky and it's just absolutely lovely to sit here um, and there's a bee that's the second bee i've seen this year brilliant how do you feel, Coops? Are you okay? Oh. He's got a stone as always. You've just climbed three hills in the searing heat and you still just want a stone thrown for you. Daft as a brush. The Merrick is very busy today. You won't be able to see them, but there's groups of people up in the summit up there. And I've just watched two quad bikes coming down um, the Black Gary. I can see Bert coming over the spear now, so won't be long.
there's been a wee change of plan. Uh, I am now coming down because Bert is on the call. And while I was waiting on him, I looked at the map and discovered a potential escape route, which is down following the river. Basically, it goes down to uh, the Black Gutter. That should also let us come down more gradually off of Kiririyoch. Um, it's a way I haven't been before, so it's interesting. I we were going to go that way on our last trip that I mentioned earlier on, um, because the weather was just terrible, but we pressed on up the spear. So it'll be exciting to see what's down there, fresh ground and all that. It's always nice to try new things. Down in the call now. Just need to find Bert. Where is he? Ah. Oh. There he is. We will be crossing this wee plateau and then dropping off the edge. This particular part of Galloway really reminds me of the Cairn Gorms with the gigantic sweeping quarries. I mean, look at that. It's magnificent, and especially on a day like this. That big massive lump there is Spear of the Merrick. So it's not just a foothill. <laughs> it looks much bigger when you're below it and you've got uh, visibility. There's Bert. Say hello, Bert. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. Do you think we should uh, handrail that wall and just follow yeah, it down? We'll, just, we'll go down here and just left to this stone stuff here and then we'll just handrail down to... That, that, that might be boggy but we'll just have to... The ground is pretty much flattened out now, so it's just a case of heading down here, handrailing this wall or handrailing the river. And that will take us out to the foot of Kiririyuk Hill and from there we will take a right contour and around the end drop down to a burn crossing and then back into the forestry yeah. So up in this very severe rock face you see the dry stone dike goes about halfway up and then above that there's a big slit and that is known as the Black Gutter you can kind of see where it gets its name from That's us at the mouth of the glen now you can see behind me, it's just absolutely magnificent Fantastic the ground's still not too boggy, we're just following a sheep trail and we will be contouring around here Kiririr Hill, basically we come down there, drop down, there's a burn cross and you can kind of see the burn in the distance there and then enter into these trees which takes you on to the forestry access road so we're almost there Here we are, burn crossing, it's just a case of Finding the best place, I think it's that wee line there. That's us across. I would give you some fancy B roll, but I'm absolutely knackered, man. Here we are. The break in the forestry leads to salvation. Um, so, just a, a boggy patch here. You can see it's quite wet, but. That will lead us up onto the access road, which is actually really good. Um, and then it's just a couple of kilometres back to the car. <laughs> Aye, so uh, Bert just fell and then I just fell. There's a particularly pulley bit of bog. Um, bye. Oh, we just follow up here. Not far. My knee's really starting to go. I think that last section 
through the, the boggy bit. The suction under my boots and then my knee twisting has sort of exacerbated that a bit. We are on the road. Oh. And if you look behind, you can see where we've come from. That is Tarfesic, down the Col, the Green Holes, and Kirriria Hill. That's the glen we came out of, and that is the Merrick. Um, we came out that glen and along through this forest stream. We've come up the road a bit. We met a chap, the two lovely collies called Jack and Victor. Fair few kilometres still to go, but it's all on this road, so nothing difficult. Just uh, as Bert says, put the mind into neutral and press on. Back at the car, absolutely knackered. It's currently seven o'clock, so that's has been in the go since eight. So 11 hours walking. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support my channel, give me a thumbs up or share it with your friends. I'm Scott Cameron Monstow, the Ayrshire photographer, and remember, go outside, it's good for you.